In this podcast, we're going to look at archiving your Desire to Learn course. Now, there are a number of times when you'll want to archive your course. Naturally, at the end of the semester, you'll want to archive your course um, before you roll it over. That way you have a backup of the end of the semester. But also, when you make major changes to a course, like right at the beginning, as you're preparing your course for the next semester, you'll want to archive it too because you don't want to have to go back in time to the point before you'd made all your changes if something would happen to your course site. So not only do you want to do it like at the end of the semester, another great time is after you've updated it for the next semester, archive it again before you even open it for students. And then you have a, a place that you can go back to in case you need to reset your course. So the process is going to the tools area in your course, go to edit course, and we're going to go to import, export, copy components. And we're going to go down to export components. And we're going to go ahead and leave a check in this box to include the, include the course files. And I'm going to click the start button. Now I'm just going to select everything and bring it forward and go ahead and click continue. And this wants me to confirm that that's what I want to do, so I'm going to click continue. And then you'll notice we have um, an indicator here that each of these components is being archived. Once green check marks appear everywhere, we are finished and I'm going to click the finish button. At that time, right above the done button is a link to download your archive. And all you need to do is click on that file and it'll start downloading. Now it may prompt you for a place to save it, but in this case it just started to download the file. Once you've downloaded the file, just click on the Done button and it'll take you back to the Import Export Components area. If you are finished, then all you need to do is click on your course name to go back to your main course page or to select another course to archive.